This is going to be fun, ladies and gentlemen. What's up all you cool snakes neonates, how's it going? I hope you are all keeping well. So today we are going to uh, attempt a tarantula rehousing and not just any tarantula, our South Hispaniola. This spider is nuts, it's crazy. Now unfortunately it has molted out into a mature male, which means that he only has about a year or so left to live. One of the main reasons you want a female over a male is normally the females live longer. Not only that, but they're bigger and more beautiful as well. This guy is a very handsome boy, which is why I put him in this nice glass terrarium here to keep him on show. But now that he's matured, males tend to behave differently after they mature. So whereas he was crazy and extremely aggressive, uh, before he matured. Once he matured, he's still absolutely crazy. Um, still threat poses and stuff, but he does run quite a bit too, so this is going to be a tricky rehouse. But another thing they do is they do nothing but hunt for a female to the point they starve themselves to death. They stop eating. They're just that, concentrating on finding a girlfriend, finding a mate. So what he does is he wanders about I don't know if you guys remember, but Fudgy Wudgy did the same thing. He matured and what he did was he would climb to the top and he would fall down, he would rub himself raw. Uh, a little tip that I learned from Dave from Dave's Little Beasties was to put your males in smaller enclosures when they molt because otherwise they're just going to run themselves into the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to take him out of this big enclosure here so that he doesn't hurt himself and we're going to pop him in this littler enclosure here so he can't climb up and fall down and hurt himself. He's got less space to run around in too so he's going to be a bit more comfortable a bit better for him health-wise in the long run. But yeah, let's get into rehoming this absolute crazy case of a tarantula. Right, so I'm trying to figure out what would be the best way to set this up so you guys get a good view, possibly around this side here, maybe. I take the top off the enclosure. Huh. There's a dubia roach still in there. I don't know if you guys seen it fall to the ground there. Like I said, they do not uh, eat too great when they are matured males. Let's see if he's going to eat before we disturb him. Hope not, because then we'll have to wait for him to finish eating. You want the food? Oh, look at that. Food right in the face. <laughs> look at that for a threat pose. This is going to be fun, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. That dubia roach is going to have some tales to tell its friends. Hey guys, you'll never guess where I've been. Right, so we've taken the top off. So what I'm going to try and do is catch a couple. Now, as always, when it comes <laughs> when it comes to rehousing tarantulas, it's down to the preparation. He moved that there. He physically moved that. <laughs> so, like I said, when it comes to rehousing tarantulas, it's about staying slow, calm, not losing your nerve. Like that. <laughs> I down put my pants. Right, what I'm going to do here is try something. I'm going to pop the lid there and I'm going to try and walk him over to this lid. Oh, he's flicking hairs now. Come on, buddy. Look at that, he's physically lifting that tub. So we still have to be gentle because tarantulas are very fragile. 
So we need to be very careful that we don't hurt him, damage him. There we go. Watch his pause as I click this. That is the closest I will ever get to handling that tarantula. <laughs> He's a crazy one. So now all I'm going to do is transfer his old bedding into his enclosure. I'm not even going to give him a hide because he won't use it. He's never used that hide. Now that he's mature, all he's interested in is finding a girl. Look at that web. That is just crazy. I need to hoover in the animal room, but that is actually taking effort to pull apart how crazy is that so pretty basic well that's all that he needs it feels a bit bad i like to give my animals as much enrichment as possible but this is actually for the good of his health now they also drink a lot of water as males they don't eat but they drink water he also has a habit of throwing his water bowl around so i've given him a big ceramic water bowl in there one that hopefully he won't be able to lift uh, but I do have a funny feeling he's probably just going to move the dirt into it but the aim of the game there was low maintenance because as you've seen it's quite a big spider high energy spider so the less I have to go in here the better I'll still keep offering them the odd bit of food but they never really eat so this is really him now in the phase of just looking for a female so we're just going to pop him in there and pretty much that will be him, unfortunately. Let's uh, see how we get on. So we're going to just pop. As always, preparation is key when working with tarantulas. Always have a catch cup ready. This is just an old cricket tub. I'm going to pop him in there. Now he doesn't want to leave. No, you don't, son. I know exactly what you're trying to do. Oh, wow, he's strong. He just lifted that lid there. I don't know if the camera would have caught that, but he physically pushed the whole corner of that up there. He's fighting me. Everybody in, because I don't want to catch your feeties. There we go. Right. That is him in his little forever home. So yeah, still plenty of room for him to stretch his legs out, but it's not high, so he's not going to climb up to the ceiling and fall off and hurt himself when he's been a silly boy looking for his girlfriend. Maybe male, but he's still got... He's still very handsome. Still a handsome boy. Look at the little curly whirly, our female curly haired tarantula. She's wonderful. She is the opposite end of the spectrum there. She is so calm and lovely and docile. She is just wonderful. She's an absolute pleasure to handle is this little girl. Now guys, thank you very much for tuning in. As always, comment on the video, like the video. You can subscribe through my ugly mug right there. There'll be a video for you right there and there'll be a random video selected for you right there. From me, all of the creepy crawlies and the rest of the animals. Take it easy guys, peace. I